Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing under a weeping willow tree by the River Misbourne in the very pleasant Buckinghamshire village of Little Missingdon. We have been here before, we've been to this bridge before when I did my Misbourne series and um, we walked through Little Missingdon on this, it was the first episode where we started at Great Missingdon we walked down here to Little Missingdon but what we're doing in today's video is we're going to go and have a look at the uh, parish church in Little Missingdon because it wasn't open when we did the Misbourne one and it is today so it's something I've always wanted to feature on one of my videos, it really is a lovely church so that's where we're going to go. So we just we come down this road. This is the main centre of the village. It is a very small village. The church is that way. Um, I'll just quickly show you the village centre. I do really like this um, direction sign they've got there. Look at that. So it's Hyde Heath that way, Holmer Green that way. And it sits nearly spring. We've got some snowdrops coming out. So let's just have a very quick walk up to the village centre and then we'll walk back down to Parish Church. So here's the village centre. Now one question that was asked quite a lot um, when I did the Misbourne series is where does the name Missingdon and Misbourne come from? It's uh, fairly sort of um, obvious that there's a link, very similar words. Now I've heard apparently it's an Anglo-Saxon word for the middle of the valley. That's how I understand it to be. Um, so I believe that's where the word um, Missingdon comes from. So we get to here, here's the red line, one of two pubs in the village. Um, and then I just want to show you this, look, there's a, see the giant, is that a baboon or a giant gorilla? Quite an unusual thing to find. There is, of course, um, a red line. It'd be nice to go in there for a pint, but um, we won't today. So this, this is the village centre. If you go that way, that will take you down to Amersham. You can do a lovely walk through Shardlows. There's a bus stop. I'm not sure if any buses serve the village anymore. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'll take you back this way to the other end of the village. We'll go and have a look at the church. If you're thinking it looks like I'm um, in a Midsummer Murders film set, I have said this a few times in my videos. The reason it looks like a Midsummer Murders film set is because technically it is. They have filmed various Midsummer Murders episodes in Little Missingdon and some of the other surrounding villages. You've got some of the hilltop villages such as the Lee, which um, is a few miles up the hill in that direction. This is one of the valley villages of the Chilterns, but um, there really are some lovely villages around the Chilterns. I really do, you know, um, enjoy spending my time exploring them. This house in front of us, this has definitely been in Midsummer Murders. Um, I'm not going to say which episodes, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it certainly has featured possibly more than once. It's definitely been in at least one Midsummer Murders episode, though. That's where we started down there, Taylor's Lane. We're coming up here. Apparently this house, I believe it, it, it's an Elizabethan house. And it was originally in the shape of an E for um, Queen Elizabeth. That's what I, I heard once. So it's a really lovely house. I think, I believe it's the manor house of the village. So we come to this um, other junction. There's the church, more of that in a moment. There's another nice old fashioned direction sign. It looks like, it probably should say Amersham, but it's broken off. So you've got Holmer Green up the hill that way, Wendover, Ellsbury, in that direction. So there you have a few more. That's the old vicarage in there. A few more of the lovely houses of the village. So as we now walk past um, this house, the one I've said has definitely been in Midsummer Murders, we come towards the parish church. And there's something really quite spectacular in this church, which um, I'm looking forward to showing you once we get inside. So let's just go across the road. So here's the church. It looks as though they've repointed the wall um, around the church because they've put all this tar hoarding over it and it seems to be weighted down. I assume that's to um, make sure, you know, the frost doesn't damage the pointing work. But anyway, here's the church. Really attractive building. Um, and what I want to show you is something very spectacular inside. Look, the church is open. So we just we arrive at the church now. I'm just going to quickly stop filming to put my face covering on. So let's go and have a look inside. As we come 
into the church. rare medieval wall paintings. They, um, I believe what they are showing is how to be a good Christian, but it, you've got to remember this is in an era where most people couldn't read or write, so it's a bit like watching a cartoon. It's all in cartoons um, to show you, you know, how it would have been. What I'm going to do um, if you have a look, you can see certain areas of them appear to be missing. Have a look up there. See how there's rather big areas, which um, I suppose what's happened is it's been whitewashed over the years, painted over, forgotten about. Wouldn't it be nice if we could bring them back and see them as we were? Well, with some modern technology, we have a button here on top of the radiator. I wonder what will happen if I press this button. Seem to make a bit of a noise. Oh, I seem to have restored some of them. I thought I could bring those ones back, but I'm obviously not that as much of a, as clever as I thought I was. But have a look at that. Up there, we have projected onto the walls some of what is lost. So, yeah, I think that's really a nice feature that we can see, you know, what has been lost and what we, you know, um, wouldn't otherwise see. So I'll just take you through here. This is the chancel. Here we get a bit of a close-up view of some of the, not so much the cartoon-like work, but some of the more decorative work. There appears to be a lot of crosses. I don't know if you can see them in the wall. And um, there's a bit more of it here. So see what I was saying about the whitewash, see how they've painted over it. And it's pretty very delicate um, business removing the whitewash, because obviously you don't want to lose the painting, you know, behind the whitewash. I go through here. Have another little chapel here. We have some remains of some more paintings. It's interesting. I like that stained glass window. It seems to appear to be showing a battle. We've got the airplanes. So some of them have been shot out of the sky. And yeah, there we have bombs going off. And uh, you can probably see the church has fairly recently had a lot of money spent on it. Um, I remember I came here one time and they said oh this will be your last chance of looking here for a while it's all going to be restored and I think you know they've done a great job of restoring this church I believe in there we're not going to be able to go in there but there's like a, a private mausoleum and it has it's built in a different style so what we'll do I'll, I'll go outside we'll walk around the outside of the church and uh, I'll see what there is to see there but before we go let's have one last look at uh, how at the touch of a button, we brought back some of those medieval wall paintings. So let's go outside. So I think that's a really, really nice feature they've got here. Let's go out here. That way we're coming. Let's So as you come out, out here, and take my mask off now, as soon as we're no longer inside. So we'll just go for a quick walk around the churchyard, and then I'm going to go for my own little walk, probably along the Misbourne Valley. There's that tower. So this is the cemetery, and the cemetery, um, as with most churches, it's outgrown itself. So there's now another cemetery on the other side of the road. Well, look at this, it looks like it's been snowing. It hasn't, but the snowdrops have come out. Look at that, that nice carpet through the graves of the snowdrops. And just down there in the field, the River Misbourne flows through there. And uh, probably if a train went along now, we'd see a train on the um, ex-Great Central Main Line. Here's a few 
animals in the field. What are they? They're cows. Let's go and see the cows. Look, look at them. Oh, yeah, they're all looked up. Well, one of them's looking at me. He's seen me with the camera, thinking, what's he doing? So, yeah, we've got cattle. We've got the River Miz. Well, oh, look, there's one right here. Let's see if he wants to say hello. 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 I'm just filming. You're going to be a star on YouTube, if you are. I don't think he quite knows what to make of me. No, I'm going to leave him to it. Bye. Or probably her, actually, to it. So, let's just have a, a quick walk around the, um, the church. So, if you look from here, you can see the building. See with the hipped roof? That's the one that I said is like a private mausoleum. It's built in a different style. We'll have another look as we get to it. And then just through here, it's kind of in someone's garden, but as soon as we can see it clearly from the churchyard, I'll show it to you. There's a, a really beautiful garden in there. Lots of snowdrops, and there's all these tributaries of the Misborn, um, which, so, that, so what you see down there, a lot of water, and that's not the main course of the Misborn, so that will all flow into the main course of the Misborn. Here's that, um, that mausoleum. So when we are in the church, we never actually went in that, that building. It, I believe it's the family's private mausoleum. I'll just take you around, we'll see the, um, the chancel end of the church. And then, um, as I said, I'm going to get go for my own walk around, around the area. So here, yeah, here's the, the chancel. So that, yeah, that's the chancel. This would be, no, uh, I'm getting confused. Yeah, that's the chancel. That would be the other chapel, I believe. Yeah, and then that's the, um, what would be the north, the south aisle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, quick look at the... Um, Little Missingdon Parish Church. As I said, it really is a lovely church. I really enjoy coming here. Um, and, you know, why not come out this way f uh, yourself and, ha and go for a walk? And I believe in the summer they do do cream teas, which um, also makes any visit to a church very nice. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much and goodbye.